How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with it, another review, and a little bit of uh, Texas-based, apparently fat kid heavenness, in the form of Buffalo Bayou Brewing's uh, Red Velvet Stout. Um, yeah, never had anything from this brewery at all, never had this beer before, super excited to give it a whirl. This beer comes courtesy of Zach, thank you very much, Zach. Zach is from Texas. He sent me a four-bottle bomber of beers. This is one of them. Um, actually, there's three from this brewery. This is the first one I'm cracking. And, uh, yeah, he's like, uh, Texas is, is a, a, not represented well on your channel in any form or fashion. I don't do many beer reviews from Texas. So he sent off a little bomber. And so thanks, Zach. Yeah. As far as what it says on this one he sent out, it says Buffalo Bayou Brewing Company, a Red Velvet Stout, uh, Fat Kid Heaven. That's where that Fat Kid Heaven part comes from. 2007 bottled February. It says here, rich and decadent. This voluptuous dessert will uh, seduce and ravage your taste buds and then uh, cuddle with them in the afterglow. Hints of cherries intermingle with malt for dark chocolate mouthfeel, flirt, finishing dry and savory. Best enjoyed slightly chilled in a Belgian tulip or schnifter. Uh, and that's pretty much a brewery information over here. It's a uh, successionist series. You know, Texas Day one is a seed from the United States, yada, yada, yada. Not to be that. Label-wise, I love it. Texturally, it's cool. Layout's cool. I'm um, always sucker for a little bit of fancy-ass wax, so, yeah, I dig it. The best part about the fancy-ass wax, I'll tell you what, you don't have to cut it to get it off. It's just kind of there. Um, maybe that's for show. You know, it is what it is, but at the same time, I didn't have to struggle with that shit, so that didn't suck. So, let's see what this sucker has to offer. Uh, pinky Finger. That is not a creamy head, that is not a rocky head. It's kind of a generic head, somewhere in between. Um, it kind of has this alien grayish kind of hue to it. Uh, I don't know if so that's a good or a bad thing. But, if, you know, in, at the same time, it's not super dark. Um, it's, you know, it's got, you can't really see through it, but at the same time, um, you can get a little bit of lead on the edges. 8.1% alcohol by volume, in case I forgot to say. And uh, so, yeah, does she look like a stout? Sure, let's put it that way. The heads on these candied stouts tend to come up with that little bit of alien grayness, I've noticed, um, that I've talked about in the past, so take that for, uh, for with a grain of salt, I guess, so let's see if we can get a nose on her. Mm. I'm like drinking stouts in 90 degree weather. There's a subtle, semi-sweet chocolateness to it. I could see, like, the cherry cordial kind of vibe thing. I could see the cherry red velvet cakiness to it. Um, it is not super impactful. Very subtle. There's almost like an iced tea quality to it, too. But it smells relatively desserty. Nothing too overt. Nothing too in-your-face sweet-wise. It's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of cakiness. Almost like someone made a, just red velvet cake. No icing. and didn't make it overly sweet. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting here, so... Nothing super impactful, but at the same time, nothing unpleasant. So, she smells like a stout. She looks like a stout. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Honestly, really not much there. Uh, soft carbonation. Soft carbonation with a subtle chocolate malt. A little bit of like a, a rubbing alcohol kind of vibe to it. And that's pretty much it. Really, there's really not much there as far as taste goes in any form or fashion. Yeah. If that kind of evaporative rubbing alcohol thing wasn't there, and you told me to try this, and I drank it, I would assume it would be somewhere around 5%. But because you're getting that little bit of evaporative kind of alcohol to it, that's where I'm kind of getting that kind of 8%. Um, I'm getting a soft cake battery thing to it, um, but it's 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 not super robust. It's something I have to kind of dig for. I can get the kind of cherry cordial red velvet cakey thing. Um, even though I'm not getting much cherries, I'm just getting kind of like that. Maybe, maybe it is cherries. Maybe it's this ever so slightest bit of cherries, but that's pretty much it. Thin. Not much to it. And like I said, it's got that cake battery thing. Almost like the cake hasn't been fully cooked. The bottle looks infinitely better than the beer itself. Let's put it that way. Um, kind of a disappointment, to be honest with you. I 
yeah. Really not much to it. There's not much else for me to say either. Um, it's not an overtly negative beer, but at the same time, it's not really bringing anything to the table. It's definitely not bring, bringing any kind of red velvety cakiness um, to the uh, to the table. Yeah, I don't think age would help it. Um, it's a lot of uh, it's a it's white man can't jump. It's a lot of uh, look good, not taste good. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of pomp and and uh, not a lot of circumstance, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better stouts? Mm, pastry stouts. Let's go pastry stout. Yes, pastry stouts I've had as late. Not even close. Uh, just kind of lacks pretty much anything. Uh, like I said, the best thing about it is the bottle and the labeling. The uh, label's cool, it looks cool, but the insides do not count um, towards that coolness. Um, value and availability, no idea what was sent to me. Maybe anybody out there in Texas or Zach can chime in and just say if you like what we like this. If you like 8% beers that don't taste like much and you want to get shit fuck drunk. Because while this does have technically have flavor involved, there's really not much to it. Um, so yeah. Kind of a bummer because I was kind of looking forward to it. Um, anybody, anytime anybody sends you beer, you really want to, you know, you want to enjoy. You want to, you want to be like, okay, this is this is good, fucking good stuff. Um, because you know, someone out of their way to send it, unless they're doing it on purpose. Maybe he did. I don't know. But I have two other bottles from this brewery to check in, so um, we're gonna find out. But uh, as of right now, just uh, kind of a definite miss for me. So if you're into kind of weak beers that don't taste like much, it's worth checking out. Other than that, yeah, no. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, didn't, anywhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Mass Appears, all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice, or nicer beer than this one. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>